I was born in Haiti, came to the U.S. when I was four. I've been wanting to go to Haiti for the longest time. Um, and so when I was active duty, there, is, um, there are these countries that we're not authorized to go to um, just because we're, we're service members. And on that list was Haiti. I, I was not allowed to go to Haiti while serving in the, the United States Navy. The news came down that the earthquake happened in, in Haiti. And you know, they, they ask us, they start assessing like, who's got family in these countries because this is what's going on. And um, you know, it was just devastating because I couldn't call my parents, I couldn't call my dad, I couldn't call my family members at the time to figure out what was going on. Um, we were in the middle of the ocean on deployment. Comms was not a priority. Talking to your loved ones was not a priority, you know? So I didn't know what was going on, I had no idea. I just knew that an earthquake hit the country that my family and I call home. And I didn't know the damages, but I knew that I still had family there. A day or two later, they ask us, you know, who wants to go volunteer for this relief program? Because I was like, oh, finally, this is what the Navy does. They help people. Sign me up raised my hand, I'm like, I'm ready to do this. I was like, trying to sell myself to um, my, <laughs> my leaders. I'm like, can I go please? Because I speak the language, I know the culture, I was born there, um, I have family there. I need to be on this side deployment to go to Haiti to help. Who else do you have? Who else is a better candidate? No one, because I can be a translator. Whatever you need, sign me up, I got you. They sent a Colombian person and they sent a Native American person. I didn't get chosen to go help what was going on in Haiti. I don't know the reason why I wasn't selected to help Haiti, but it just, it just felt so unfair at the time because this was my opportunity to help others and I didn't get that chance. I didn't get that chance to help my country. I would read stories about Haitian Americans going back to Haiti and being kidnapped, being killed. Yes, I wanted to go visit my mom's side of the family, but I don't think I was ready to die for that. And I was always kind of like jealous of my friends who had the opportunity to go back to their country whenever they wanted to because it was safe for them. I'm not sure if it's safe for me to go to Haiti because not only am I Americanized, um, I, I don't know if they would have sent me.